Well, good morning. Welcome to James with Jesus on this Monday, uh, March 13th. The scripture text I selected for today comes from John's Gospel, um, chapter 3, uh, beginning at the verse 4. Or sorry, verse 3. Jesus gave Nicodemus this answer. The truth of the matter is, unless as one is born from above, one cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, how can an adult be born a second time? I can't go back into my mother's womb to be born again. Jesus replied, the truth of the matter is, no one can enter God's kingdom without being born of water and the spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. So don't be surprised when I tell you that you must be born from above. The wind blows where it will. You hear the sound it makes, but you don't know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. So this was um, the uh, scripture gospel for two weeks ago, I believe. And it, it struck me yesterday as I heard uh, Courtney, intern Courtney, preach her sermon. And if you've not heard that, please uh, visit our YouTube channel for yesterday's worship service or go on our website uh, where the sermon uh, specifically is, is posted. Because she talked about um, um, her journey, her, her um, being a queer woman in candidacy process and now in seminary. And uh, so I want to go back a little bit and trace the history because to me this is exactly how the spirit sometimes surprises us. In the fall of 2021, we began filling out our internship paperwork to apply to be an intern site. So even though there was abundance of uh, intern um, interns coming out for seminary, there's still no guarantee you will receive an intern. Depends on the number of sites that also apply to be part of the internship process. So that's one thing. On that paperwork, we said we're a fairly unique site with Lutheran Campus Ministry. So our number one priority in hoping to be matched and paired with uh, somebody on their internship year was somebody who at least had an interest in campus ministry. And, and um, intern Courtney uh, checked that box with her work with young adults in global mission. Uh, she has an interest in campus ministry, interest in young adult ministry without a doubt. Um, but campus ministry was something she wanted to maybe uh, just check out a little bit more deeply. And that is in fact what's happened and through this course of her now nine months here has really uh, had a great experience with campus ministry and the congregation, but, but specifically the campus ministry. So, um, so that's how this uh, came to be the, the placement process. And then you go in with the old scripture selection that when she mentioned that she had studied this uh, woman at the well and did a more in-depth study while she was taking her gospels course at seminary, which would have been either in 2021 or possibly, I guess technically it could have been 2022 because she arrived here in June of last year, but nevertheless, a little while ago. And then how did it come to be that she was preaching yesterday? Well, when Pastor Josh, intern Courtney, and myself, we just look at the calendar. And at this particular moment, the calendar, knowing that, um, that both she and uh, Pastor Josh will be over in Germany the next couple Sundays, uh, I said, well, I obviously will be preaching those two weeks, so let's back up. So in other words, um, totally random, or you could say totally the work of the Spirit, that intern Courtney became our intern at Unilu, who had taken some additional studies on that gospel text, who then uh, happened to have the Sunday where that gospel came in. And I've said this many times before, whenever I see threads interwoven in such a fashion, it always gets my attention to say, God is up to something. So um, that's a little behind the scenes of, of how yesterday's uh, worship service came to be. And like I said, if you've not yet had a chance to hear her sermon, I encourage you to go to our website or uh, our YouTube channel and, and check that out. I won't be offended if you fast forward through the service and just get to the sermon. <laughs> so let's pray. Holy God, thank you for the gift of your scripture. 
Thank you for the gift of your people who continue to respond to your call, uh, be that into public ministry or be that in ministry that we accomplish in our homes, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, and around the world. We give you thanks for these um, nudgings from the Spirit, these surprises from the Spirit, where you, you seem to draw the curtain back just a little bit more for us to see your hand at work. So continue to bless um, intern Courtney on her internship experience. Continue to bless University Lutheran and all those she encounters uh, through this experience. I give you thanks for Jean uh, Melman in her leadership, the internship committee, and those who are serving on it uh, for their additional uh, guidance and feedback. That makes this year such, a, such an important year in the development of leaders. So now help us this day uh, to continue to see your hand at work in the world and where we may join you in that ministry. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, hope you have a blessed day, and uh, Pastor Josh will be with you in the morning. God's peace be with you. Bye-bye.